we would have thrown our clothes away for lightness, but that even they, though sour and travel-stained, seemed like our flesh made of immortal substance, and the soiled flax and wool lay light upon us like friendly wonders, flower and flock entwined as in a morning field. Was it a vision? Or did we see that day the unseeable? One glory of the everlasting world, perpetually at work, though never seen, since Eden locked the gate that's everywhere and nowhere. An excerpt of The Transfiguration by Edwin Weir. Hello and welcome to a contemplative service with music in the spirit of Tizé. My name is Carrie Grace Littower and I'm joined today by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, musicians and parishioners at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. A big thanks to St. Th to Andrew's for making the service possible each week. And thank you to each of you for joining us wherever you're joining us from, whatever time it is or whatever day, uh, we're glad that you're meeting us here and we hope this service stills your soul. And blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
can grasp you. All creation celebrates you. The desire of all reaches out towards you. Let us take a moment now to move more deeply into silence and to rest in the presence of the Holy One. Living Spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation, as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about the good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, sinners, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, sinners, let's go down.
reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here if you wish. I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. The word of the Lord.
Transform our prayers so that we can grow close to you in spirit and in truth. Oh Lord, we pray. Transform our relationships so that we can love each other more truly. Oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. Transform our bond with nature so that we can care for the earth. Oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie Transform our civic life so that we can work together. Oh Lord, we pray. Kyrie eleison, Christ Transform our economy so that no one is left destitute. Oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. Transform and renew our calling so that we can follow you and serve in joy. Oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie At this time, I invite us into a time of silent prayer and intercession. If you have any candles you'd like to light as we pray, feel free to do so. You can also pray with me as I light mine right here. Come, let us offer our hearts to the Holy One. Let us pray. And now would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. 
from trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And today we heard about this wild story of Jesus's transfiguration. This is the, the uh, scripture reading for this last Sunday in Epiphany. And I found a really wonderful, um, provocative, uh, beautiful reflection on this by uh, Steve Garnis Holmes on his website, unfoldinglight.net. It's called Weird. Oh, please don't explain this story. It's truly, divinely, accurately weird. Sure, there's a moral of the story, several in fact. Theological constructs, stuff you should believe, fine. Hold those in your pocket. Meanwhile, sit there for a minute. Cock your head a little and just gawk at this story. It's Weird. Jesus shining, dead people chatting, Peter talking nonsense, a cloud that enters like a crab and holds them in its pincers, a disembodied voice. Wow. Don't start in on theology or psychology or meteorology or any foolology. This is not about ology. This is about wonder how Jesus shines. Life just shines. The glory of God spills out of things, leaks out of every container, even people. Being alive is beyond explanation. Grace is odd. Love doesn't make sense. And God is inexplicable. A real, absolute, true mystery. Not a puzzle, a mystery. The uncanny more than itselfness of life. Faith is not about having religious opinions, not knowing, certainly not certainty. Sometimes faith is just awe. The willingness to be bedazzled, to look at life and go, wow. When beauty and grace and loveliness overwhelm you, when words fail and being smart is of no use, you sense God may be afoot, but can't say how. All you can do is say, huh, what do you know? Wow. Let this story be weird. Let life be amazing. Let God be more than you can grasp. Your faith needn't be much more than grateful, gobsmacked wonder. If you really want to get religious, let this be your creed. Wow. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me and us today in this service. I would love to say a blessing for the week ahead. I'm aware it's also Ash Wednesday, this Wednesday, and I'm wishing you a quiet and humble and, and deliberate approaching of the altar and the dust that we are and the dust that we will return to. It's a beautiful meditation. One of true humility that reminds me of this poem, weird, and the wonder we're being invited into. So now a blessing for the journey. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
when he comes.